That's the most. By default, you always have two. Sometimes I change it to zero unless you're using, um, you do need those extra decimals. Most of the time I don't because it's in integers or whole numbers, like your data is basically, or most of the time it's whole numbers. So you would want to change it to zero. For the values, for example, in gender, this is if your variable is a nominal type of variable, meaning we only have two different categories, for example, gender or sex. So you will label the categories with numbers. Let's click on it. So you would have two different uh, categories of females and males, right? Using the values option, it would be like you telling SPSS what each category or each number represents. So for example, we're going to go for zero. The label is going to be male. And for one, the label is going to be female. Remember to add, add it. Okay, so we already have that there. So now we go into the data view. Let's do zero and one. What it does for you is that it changes it. When you have the binary code as zero or one, when you click on this one, if you can't remember what zero stands for, what one stands for, you'll have it there, male and female. You could also do the string one and actually uh, type it all out if you're okay with it. But for it to be uh, faster, you would want to use the categories options or the values. Uh, if you have more, uh, for example, ethnicity or race, where you want to put uh, Hispanic, Asian, African American, and all of those options, uh, you could use them by assigning each number uh, different ethnicity or race and then you would once you click on this one it would give you the name of what ethnicity they chose